Welcome to our channel. Today we have some exciting news for all the Linux enthusiasts out there. The Debian project has just released the first alpha version of the installer for the upcoming Debian new Linux 13, codenamed Trexy. This new operating system series is set to launch next year. And we are here to give you a detailed overview of what you can expect. So let's dive right in. Development of Debian Trexy has been underway for several months now. However, until recently, there was no official installer available for users to explore. That changes today. The first alpha version of the Debian 13 installer is now available for LA adapters and those who are eager to experience the new features and improvements that comes with this release. One of the standout features of the Debian 13 Trexy installer is its support for the latest Linux 6.12 LTS kernel series. This kernel could very well become the default in the final release, providing users with enhanced performance and stability right from the start. In terms of hardware support, there are some significant improvements in this alpha version. Notably, it introduces support for the RISC-V64 architecture which is a 64-bit variant of RISC-V. This addition is particularly exciting as it opens up new possibilities for developers and users who are working with the cutting-edge hardware. However, it's important to note that the Debian Trexy Installer Alpha has also made some changes regarding architecture support. Specifically, it drops support for the ARM EI and i386 architectures. While these architectures are still present in the archive as of now, they will no longer be supported in the future updates. Additionally, the MIPC architecture was removed from the archive last year. Now let's talk about this, some of the user interface improvements that comes with this release or this alpha release. The Debian Trexy installer alpha features revamp screens for creating both the root users and the first user account. This enhancement aims to streamline the installation process and make it more user-friendly. Another notable improvement is in automatic partitioning. The installer now includes smarter algorithms to compute swap sizes, make it easier for users who may not be familiar with, with partitioning schemes. There are also new recipes designed specifically for small disks which will be beneficial for those using devices with limited storage capacity. While many aspects of the installer have received updates, it's worth mentioning that the boot screen have not been modified in the first alpha version. However, one exciting addition is the depth of new default theme called Ceratopsian, created by designer LC Cooper. This theme can be seen throughout the installer including on wallpapers, lock screens, login screens, and even on installer banners. It gives a fresh and modern look to the installation process. For those eager to try out this upcoming operating system series, you can download the Debian Trexy Installer Alpha from the official Debian website. It's available for various architectures including AMD 64, ARM 64, ARM HF, Massive 64 EL, PPC 64 EL, and RISC-V64 and S390X. As always with alpha releases, we recommend that you use the version on non-critical systems or in the virtual environment to avoid any potential issues that may arise during testing. In conclusion, Debian new Linux 13 Trexy is shaping up to be an exciting release with its new features and improvements aimed at enhancing user experience and hardware compatibility. We encourage all the Linux enthusiasts to check out this alpha version and provide feedback to help improve future releases. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this information helpful or exciting, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates on Debian Trexy and other Linux related news. We'll keep you posted on all developments leading up to its official release next year. And right now, I'm going to just play the video without any voiceover. Thanks for watching. Peace out.